This is Karen Ramsey, vegan health coach since 1998 and director of the vegan certification course at feelfabulouswithfood.com. Today, I want to show you these three tricks to speed up your raw food preparation. These are three pieces of equipment that I wish I had when I first started a raw vegan lifestyle back in 1994. I wanna start with this metal piece from Chef's Planet. And what this piece of equipment does is, is it makes it easy for you to scoop up your veggies and fruit right onto this planet and take them and put them right into the food processor or the blender, wherever you're using them. So I just wanna show you how quick and easy it is. I have some chopped red pepper here. I am just going to scoop it up. I can fit the entire red pepper, and this is one whole red pepper, and I'm scooping it up here, and it fits perfectly onto this planet. You can see that I have also chopped sweet potato, two sweet potatoes and two tomatoes for a raw vegan pizza cracker that I'm doing. And I'm going to use this plane to get it into the food processor. It's so much easier than doing it by hand. I'm going to just take the sweet potato and make a couple of different visits and go right into the food processor. I already have my red pepper in the food processor. I'm also going to put in the two chopped tomatoes and I'll only need two trips for the tomatoes, even less than that. And you just scrape it on in. That's the planet. I love this. It's a great trick. My next trick to provide ease in your raw food kitchen is these little hand tools for making pasta, especially with zucchini and cucumber noodles. Uh, this one is from OXO, and that one works pretty well. And this one I got in Costa Rica. I'm not sure if this one's available in the United States, but hand tools, if you look for hand tools for creating noodles from veggies and fruit. I chopped off a piece of zucchini from a medium to large zucchini. And first thing is I'm going to peel it. You could also create noodles just using your peeler. Sometimes I'll make a fettuccine dish, a fettuccine Alfredo. I will peel it so that it looks like real pasta. And that's the only reason I'm peeling it because there is some nutrition in the skin. But now that I have it peeled, I'm going to, I think I'll show you with this one. I really like this hand tool. And I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna take these side pieces here and I'm going to go down the side. As you can see, the noodles will just fall onto the plate. This is a really good way to make quick noodles. I have other pieces of equipment that take longer, but these hand tools or zucchini and cucumber noodles are really, really quick. My last recommendation is a coffee grinder. When I have a small amount of nuts or seeds for a recipe, um, I like to grind it down. So for example, I have golden flax seeds here Sometimes I grind down in my Vitamix, my high-powered blender, and that's very quick, but I would really not want to take this small amount and put it in this big blender. So this small coffee grinder makes the most sense and it is so quick and easy. So I'm just going to pour 
my golden flax seeds in here. And I'm just gonna quickly blend them up. It's like one, two, three, and you've got a powder. And if I did that in the blender, it wouldn't be as effective as doing it in this little coffee grinder. This one is by Miracle Mill, but there's many coffee grinders, and it's just a really quick, easy, and effective tool for the raw food kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed these three quick tricks for the raw food kitchen. And if you're interested in becoming a health coach in the vegan niche, please see the description below. My masterclass is coming up soon and also a way to contact me to book a free call to talk about the vegan certification course. I will see you on the next video.